Please, Rain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so the 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 thing is is that uh, when we look at being introverted or extroverted in the bedroom, it has absolutely nothing to do with our character traits outside the bedroom. It is how you approach it. And one of the most common questions I get is from partners that are with someone and their partner is shy, doesn't want to talk about sex, doesn't want to explore things, has a lot of of fear and like guilt and like I don't I don't want to use my words. It can be really hard to use your words. And the thing that I always have to remind these people writing in to me for advice is you weren't sold a bill of goods. You knew what they were like when you started dating them. And it's one of the greatest disservices we can do to someone is start dating them. And they're like, great, now that we're together, this is all the things you need to change about yourself. Bitch, you knew who I was, but now we're together. We, I have to shift in my entire personality. You can't start dating someone, be unaware of the fact when you're in a sexual relationship that they have some shyness or insecurity or they don't want to explore fisting with, you know, a traffic safety cone tonight. You're aware of that before you start. And when we get into a sexual relationship and then we lay our resentments and our frustrations that you're not how we want you to be, that's completely not fair to the person. Now, on the other hand, you can shift that introversion. A lot of people don't know how to use their words. It's, I, 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 how many of us are guilty? I know I used to be where you're in your head and you're yelling and you're like, no, just just a quarter inch down and and the sixteenth of an inch to the right. And we never open up our mouth holes and we never say that to the person. We're just yelling in our head. The core of being comfortable, the, this is the meaning of life, communication. Everything is about communication. You're sharing the planet with over 7 billion other people. You have to be able to communicate. It's that easy and it is, it's that hard. And when you are wanting to change your sexuality, don't be the person in the bedroom looming over. Why can't we talk about these things? Why does this make you uncomfortable? Why are you so shy? Why won't you use your words? Well, now you've fucking ruined it. When we provide a comfortable, safe space where you're like, hey, I'd like to explore this. And if they say no, the answer is no, that's totally valid. But provide them with a comfortable place where they can feel safe and secure to explore new things. I'll keep I, going, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> next. No, no, I love what you're saying. It, it reminds me, I was um, dating this introvert, social introvert, um, and they were also sexually introverted. Um, and through time, because of how extroverted I was in sex and introverted they were, we were able to find a common ground because, you know, duality, polarity, you know, and we were able to find that common ground. And it was through, he found his comfort uh, through sexting and writing me letters. You know, it was, he couldn't use his words because mm -hmm. it's, pretty scary to say, you know, I want to bend you over and fuck you from behind. Like that's, I mean, like not even just that, like even something as simple as that versus like, oh, I want to fist your asshole. Like these are what, if you're experiencing um, purity culture and you haven't unlearned that, these are very scary sentences, you know? And so when you, you're not saying it out loud, but you're playing with the the idea, the fantasy through text, through words or creativity or putting up a video. You know, it doesn't have to be your words and it takes the pressure off of you. And I've noticed that um, it, it becomes a really helpful tool when you're removing um, the pressure off of the words. Of, of the vocal words, right? And it's just like, hey, here's a, I, I like me as an extrovert, it's my responsibility to create a safe space for the introvert. Hi, I'm an extrovert, I'm sexually open, and it's okay that you are exploring, confused and kind of timid, like intimidated. So it's my responsibility to step up and create that safe space and find other outlets for them to use their tools and explore together and sexually get like creative. I absolutely love it. Samson, I, I, I see you nodding a lot. I'm curious if this resonates with you or any of your experiences. 
this is resonating with me in 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 a, in a sort of to be very honest in a sort of painful way because i am very mentally i'm very sexually liberated right like i mean i'm into all kinds of crazy nasty stuff um but i grew up in the church like i grew up since i was little having my mother tell me you know um if you go off and have any sexual experiences your penis is going to shrink up to the size of a peanut and pray over me and stuff like that you know you're down at the church and they're praying over your privates like you live with that and what it teaches you is to be ashamed of your body right <laughs> so when you have sexual experiences and like for me that's really that's not sexy to tell somebody you know what i'm saying like when you're having a sexual experience is not sexy to tell somebody like this is what i have to go through every time i have sex so in a way you kind of have to emotionally connect with them a little bit because you have to deal with this thing where if they don't talk to you again or um neither one of you get aroused or something you you kind of have to confront that shame again. So because you've been taught to be ashamed of your body, um, it just makes a lot of really negative sexual experiences unless there's like, like you all said, like that solid communication there. 